Nice and tall, breathing in and out of the nose. Just working to smooth the breath out. find that when I settle into my body and my breath, I can find that posture, the more that little lift out of the hips and more length in the spine. Reach out through the top of my head. our hands to heart center and set intention for a practice. Maybe intention, maybe dedication. Our eyes close and breathe here a little bit deeper. Let's inhale and reach the arms out and up. Feeling that expansion through the ribs and exhale, arms out and down. Inhale, out and up. And exhale, out. One more time, inhale. If we're sitting on something, we can come off of that, and switch up the legs, and we shake them out for a second, and then we'll switch them up back to our easy cross legs. Let's breathe here. Inhale to reach your arms up. And on the exhale, forward, rounding your back for extending that cow. Inhale, forward and up. Roll through the spine. And exhale, round and up. Inhale, roll through. And exhale. And move at your own pace. Welcome 
back to center. Take a deep breath here. And then let's take our legs out wide. Go as wide as we can while maintaining our posture. Sitting up tall, roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And close your eyes, flex your feet. Just connect with where your body is, how it feels. On the exhale, begin to fold forward, maintain your flat back for as long as you can. And when you start to feel that shift, like you have to round your back or your shoulders curl forward, back off a little bit there and hold that posture. Just stay with your breath. And then inhale, come up with a flat back, using your core muscles, reach your arms out and up. And exhale, back in, hands come down to your legs or the floor, come back in front of you, holding flat back for as long as you can. And a little more, some side bending to create a little more space in the body. You might feel yourself drop in a little more on your exhale. And inhale up nice and strong again, engaging those muscles, arms out and up, on touch at the top. And last time, exhale, bringing it to your fold. Find a little bit more extension and space in the back side of your body. And lift your chin, reach out with the heart. Breathe deep into those tight spots. Reach your arms out and up. And this time, dropping in, rounding your back. Your head releases. Let go into the fold. Connect with your breath. One more breath here. We'll inhale, roll it up, bringing your legs back together, finding a variation of boat pose, engaging the core, lifting the heart, and breathe. Let's cross our legs in while the legs are still lifted and rock forward onto our hands and knees. Cat cow here, inhale, drop your belly, tailbone to the top of your head, and exhale, round your breath. Inhale, pull through. One more time. Coming back to a neutral spine, cross your ankles, see if you can roll back through the way you came in, back into a seated position. Good, into boat pose. Nice job. Let's lift the arms this time. Inhale. On the exhale, take them out in front. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Cross the ankles. Let's roll through again. This time, finding a plank, modified or full. So just walk your hands forward. Press in. Shoulders are engaged. Lift your chin. Let's inhale. 
On your exhale, slowly lower down. Let your forehead touch. Keep your big toes together. So really mindful of how it feels when you lift a cobra, honoring that lift, only going as far as your body wants this time around. Good, let's exhale back to the table. Cross your ankles, sit back into your seated position and into boat pose. And breathe. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, out in front. Inhale, lift. Exhale, out in front. Good. Cross maybe opposite legs this time as you cross and see how that feels to rock forward. Walking it out, find your plank. Inhale. On the exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, rise, listen to your body on the rise. Good, exhale, back to the table, cross the ankles, roll through, back to boat. Hold wherever you'd like this time. Good, cross it. We'll inhale forward, finding plank, higher low. And this time, let's press up to down dog. Finding movement in your down dog. Feel the feet, rock the hips. Turn your head from side to side. And breathe. Breathe into your belly. And then come into stillness. Let's press the fingertips into the mat so the palms of the hands pop up a little bit. Soften your elbows, and your shoulder blades land on your back, not squeezing together. There's no pinching back there, just reaching your hips high, long spine. Breathing into your belly. One more breath. And we'll inhale to the front. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, rise. Good. Exhale, back to the table. Cross your ankles. Sit back into your seated position. And into boat. One last time. And let's inhale. On your exhale, rock it forward, lifting to down dog. And breathe. Inhale up to our toes, lifting the hips high, walking your, your hands back towards your feet. As your hands walk back, release the heels down. Drop into your fold. Maybe bend and straighten both legs together, feeling your way into your hamstrings, your hips, your low back. Take your fingertips right next to your little toes and into an elongated spine. So a halfway lift, but you're not really lifted halfway. Looking toward the top of your mat, inhale. And on the exhale, drop back into your fold. Then we'll inhale and roll it up to standing one vertebrae at a time, reaching your arms out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center, releasing your arms down, start to bend your knees and we'll ragdoll down into our fold. Fingertips next to little toes, inhale, flat back, look forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up. Connecting with the soles of your feet so you feel grounded as you rise, arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive in this time. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Drowning into your feet a little bit more. 
focus there. So we're eventually going to come into a balance on the rise. Inhale, roll it up. All the way up. Engage your core. Exhale, nice and strong this time as you swan dive in. So this time as we roll up, once we come up to standing, we're kind of in a fluid motion. We're going to lift the left knee. So we start to find the beginning stages of tree. Let's inhale and roll up, engaging your core, finding strength in the legs, lifting the left knee as we rise, arms out and up, flex the foot. Good, exhale, slowly take the arms out wide, foot lands on the mat, dive into your fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Right side, inhale, rolling up, fluid movement, right knee lifts. Flex the foot, engage the core. Good. Exhale as you slowly lower, dive it back in. Back to the left side. Inhale, rise. Left knee. Good. Let's hold it here. Breathe. Relax your right toes, lengthen the spine. And take it into whatever variation of tree you want to attempt today. Maintain a focal point. Use a breath, opening that knee out wide. Your arms out a little wider. Lift the heart, relax the shoulders. Turn the palms up. If you're breathing in and out through the palms of your hands. Next inhale, take your knee forward and up. And on the exhale, releasing, diving into your fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale. Moving on to the right side, we'll inhale, rising. Right knee comes with us. We find our balance, relaxing the left toes. Engage the core. Breathe. Good, and then find your posture. Step back to plank, higher low in your plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, rise, peel it up, cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. And breathe. Breathe into your belly. Let's inhale, left leg out and up toward the ceiling. So at first, we'll come up on our right toes, find that big reach. Your leg is as straight as you can get it, the left leg. And then go ahead and release your right heel back down. We're going to keep the left leg lifted and walk our hands back toward our foot. So we're finding balance here. Go ahead and drop the left hip so it's square to the right hip and flex your foot. Flex your left foot so your toes are pointing down toward the floor. And you can look back and take a peek at them. So that's kind of how you know your hips are aligned is when your toes point down. 
Now let's get a nice bend in our right leg and see if we can lift the torso and take the arms out wide to a variation of warrior three. So more balance here and breathe. Good, let's inhale. On your exhale, releasing your hands back down, keeping the leg lifted. Let's walk it out. So come into a plank with the leg lifted. Super take it easy Tuesday. Now <laughs> let's press it back up. You said do whatever. Let's lift the leg so you're in your three leg dog. Inhale. And on the exhale, releasing that foot down. Good. Pedal it out. Release your right leg. Take a deep breath. And let's inhale up to our toes. And on the exhale, tiptoe up to the top of your mat. Drop into your fold. Bend and straighten. Our right side is definitely speaking to us. And let's inhale and roll it up. Arms out and up. And exhale, hands at heart center. Taking a moment here to breathe. Find your breath. Releasing your arms down. Let's inhale, lift the toes, engage the core. Arms out and up. Exhale, dive into your fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Let's inhale and step back to plank. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, press up, cobra or up dog. Exhale, take it back to down dog. And breathe. This time we'll take the right leg out and up. Come up on your left toes, find your big reach to open up the posture. And then releasing the left heel down, keeping the right leg lifted, walk your hands back. Nice bend in the left leg as you drop the right hip, flex the foot, toes point down. So take a peek at your toes, keeping the bend in your leg, engaging the core, and seeing where it takes you to rise up to your warrior three. And you can use that standing leg if you want to bring your hands onto your leg. Breathe wherever you are. We'll inhale. On your exhale, releasing. Hands back down, keeping the leg lifted. Let's walk forward into our plank with that leg lifted. Inhale. Exhale, press it up to your three leg dog. Up on your left toes. And exhale, set your foot back down. Pedal it out. Breathe into the left leg. And we'll inhale up to our toes. On the exhale, slowly set your knees down and sit back into child pose. Take one more breath here. And we'll inhale back up to table. A couple rounds of cat cow at your own pace. Back 
back to a neutral spine. Cross your ankles, sit back through into easy cross leg, and then into your boat pose. Any variation of boat. Inhale, on your exhale, fold it back in, drop forward, finding your plank, and lifting to down dog. Inhale up to your toes, let's tiptoe up to the top of our mat. Drop into your fold, we're kind of going to piece all that together now. So as we rise up, the left leg comes up again for our tree pose. Let's inhale, rising however you wish. Left knee. Find your balance here, your breath. Lengthen the spine, engage the core, relax the standing foot. And then go ahead and come into your chair. Attach the foot. Inhale, wide. Kind of straight in the arms, kind of straighter up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders, and then take the palms together. That on your tree. Slow as we find our warrior three, arms come out wide. We take the knee forward and slowly press it back as we hinge at the hips. Finding our balance, using our breath. Good, let's bring the hands down, keeping the leg lifted. Walk your hands back towards your feet so you can lift the left leg up, standing split, breathe. Go ahead and release that left foot way back into lunge. Step back to plank, inhale. On your exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back to down dog. And breathe here. Reach the hip side. Soften the chest and the belly. Turn your head from side to side like you're saying no. Inhale up to your toes and let's tiptoe it up on the exhale. This time as we roll up, we're going to find our tree on the right side. So we'll lift the knee first to find the balance. Inhale as we rise. Feel the balance here and find your tree pose. Forward, inhale, straighten arms, maybe touch the palms. On your exhale, warrior three. Lead the arms out wide, or maybe swing them out in front and breathe. Inhale, and on the exhale, hands come down near the foot, lifting your right leg, standing split. And go ahead and step it back to lunge. Lift your head. Nice. Inhale, back to plank. On your exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, rise. Cobra or upside. 
and let's take it back to child's pose again. Knees together, knees out wide, whatever suits you. Relax your shoulders. Ease of breath. Rising up to table, taking cat cow on your own. Back to a neutral spine, tuck your toes, rising up to down dog. Breath in your down dog. Let's inhale, right leg out and up. And on the exhale, step it through. Grab a block. I'm going to grab you one, Monica. Okay. I'm going to place the block out in front of our right foot. More balance today. We're going to work on our half moon. So right foot is out in front. Can't you can set the block on the lowest setting, placing your right hand on the block. We're going to shift forward. So we kind of slide the left leg forward. So it lifts up in the air. And that right leg, you can have a bend in the knee or you can work on straightening and engaging. And when you're ready from here, maybe the block moves out a little further, then we open and left arm comes up toward the ceiling, opening the left hip. We're breathing. So for me, Melissa, it helps when I take this block further away. Yeah, and I can kind of lean forward and then open out. Good. So actually, this would be fun. I think we're gonna practice that at the wall next, because then you have the support of the wall. So let's set ourselves up. You can bring a mat or not. Actually, don't bring a mat, just bring your block to the wall. I'll grab this. You want to grab over there. You want to grab right there on the wall. So essentially, we're going to do the same thing, right? Our, bring your right foot out. So you're going to be, yep. And the block comes down. And you're, you're kind of leaning against the wall. So that way, when you come up, you can open, look, all the way. You have the support of the wall. So then you can really find your alignment in this half moon. Yeah, so just use the wall, press right into it. Lift your head a little bit more than me. Nice, flex your foot. Draw the toes up. See if you can reach that arm. There you go. Nice. See, the wall is a magical thing. You guys are in full expression of half the moon. So find it's kind of psychological that the wall is thick. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, and it is helping you balance, you know? So just find your breath. And maybe see if you can kind of come off of the wall a little bit. And when you're ready to release, bend into your right leg and step the left foot back as you come up to stand up. Nice. All right. And then we'll switch sides. So left leg comes out, kind of like warrior two, right? So 
So you want to try to feel on this side, drawing the right hip back toward the wall, the right shoulder. Your head is in line with your spine, so don't let it hang. And breathe. It's okay if you don't feel your right hip on the wall. That's just kind of the tracking point. All right, let's come back to our mat and give it a try out in space. Let's see how it feels. Like, start with your right leg forward. And maybe it helps to like hold on to the block first and let it be an extension of your hand as you come down. Let the left shoulder, left hip, engage the core. And when you're ready to release, this time let's step the left foot way back and come into warrior two. Breathe. And then this sets us up. We should have grabbed a block, but we can reach for a block and we can take it to the other side. Go away into your half moon. Remember, use your core. Keep your toes relaxed or lifted. Lifted helps. And then the lifted leg, think about reaching through the sole of that foot. So you find some engagement, spread your toes out. Take your time to open. Breathe. Try to keep it controlled as we step back and come into our warrior two. Nice bend in the left leg, working toward your left fingertips. And arms a little higher than the shoulders. And now straighten both legs. Let's make our way back up to the top of our mat. Nice job. Standing in mountain pose, arms down by your sides, palms turned out. Connecting with your breath. Body relax. Let's inhale, lift the heart. Then on the exhale, bend the knees, rag down, down into your fold. And as you come to, down, heel toe your feet out a little wider than the hip width. Keeping your knees bent, reaching for opposite elbows, pendulum swing from side to side. Let's take it back to center. 
knees come down. Turn your feet out. And go ahead and lower into your yoga squat. Hands come down, supporting yourself into a seated position. We'll revisit our favorite posture, boat pose, making sure you have enough room behind you. Just going to use this posture as a transition onto our backs. So go ahead and roll yourself onto your back. Draw the knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and breathe. Shoulders down and back. Breathing into your belly. We'll take the arms out wide, keep the knees in, and we'll begin to rock from side to side using your core engagement to control the rocking. Working our way into a twist. Turning your head away from your knees. And next time you rock over to the left side, come all the way in to the posture. Left hand rests on your leg, that right arm, go ahead and slide it up higher, palm faces up. Your head slowly turns to the right side as far as it will go. Breathing into your belly. A little more emphasis on the exhale. Trying to navel back toward the spine. When you're ready to move, engage your core, let's inhale back through center. And exhale over to the right side. Right hand on your legs, left arm, slide it up. Palm faces up, breathe. And turn slowly in that direction, as far as it will go. When you're ready to come back to center, inhale on your way back. On your exhale, set your feet down on the mat. Your feet planted, arms down by your sides. Go ahead and lengthen your spine on the mat. So you tuck your tailbone, try to press as much of your spine on the mat as you can. And then completely relax your body so you come into the natural curves of your spine. Checking in with your body, see if it needs anything else before Shavasana. And if it does, take your time to move through those things. Otherwise, you can just get comfortable. Thank you. 
Notice that you are relaxed and asleep. Bring that in your own attention. Keep your meditation.
Stretches. And then the time you do, keep rolling on to your right side. Growing up there in the ceiling process. Can you feel that calm um, collective? Passionate aspect. Eventually, come up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. And that heart center. Whenever your intention is, you're breathing in. Breathing out. Turn our heads down toward our hearts to honor the wisdom of them. And now a little deeper to honor the hearts and wisdom of my teachers and ancestors. See all our practice with the sound of home. It's just the three of us, so let's Doing a good one. <laughs> I'll take a deep breath in. <laughs> 